You know, I probably shouldn't make this video. I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. This, this is the video I was going to do. It's the Colonial Knives E100. I got the damn light set up. I got everything set up. And I got home, and Peterbilt Knife Guy, Kevin is his name. I call him PBKG. Um, said, hey, man, what do you think about all this Joette stuff? I thought he meant breaking knives. I said, man, shit don't bother me. I said, you know, I, I said, plus, Joe named me as one of his YouTubers he trusted. And then I'm scrolling. By the way, if you're not subscribed to, to Peter Bilt, subscribe to him. He's got a channel like mine. His is better. And I see what he's talking about. And Joe X is leaving YouTube because he's been blackmailed or threatened. Now, I, I've had my feel of some of you sons of bitches that want to be the big gatekeepers of this community. I don't know if you don't understand what community means. I, I, if you're slow... Or if you just, you know, you want to have that control. Now, listen to me. I don't give a shit if you get mad. I promise you I don't. Because I'm mad. Not because I, I, I agreed with Joe X all the time. That was not my style. I am on record as saying every knife review has value. Sometimes it holds feet to the fire. Well, I don't like it. Big damn deal. Not everybody wants to sit around and watch this all day either. Let me tell you what you've done. Big gatekeeping guys, whether it's that, and it's probably, and here's, here's what pisses me off more than any of it. Because he kept talking about America and how he wanted to come here because of freedom of speech. Well, Joe, don't, don't bother, buddy, because I guarantee it was a bunch of these rat tag bastards that are the ones that are behind it. We want to yell freedom until it, it, until it messes with us. Yeah, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm mad. I can 100% disagree with somebody and still respect the fact that they get on here, they listen to the bullshit, they listen to the fanboys, they listen to the crybabies, they listen to everybody. Oh, he bent my knife. Get over it. Some of y'all act like this is Conan and the Riddle of Steel. Grow up. Most of the shit he broke was on a CNC machine and ground by, by a damn machine. Get over yourself. I'm not going to sit here and say I agreed with all of it. No, sir, I'm not. Because that'd be a hypocrite. And I'm a lot of things. I'm a raggedy piece of shit, and I'll be the first one to tell you. But I'm not a hypocrite. And I've never in my damn life, not one time, not one day in 52 years, not one time have I stabbed somebody in the back. All the shorts I make messing with people, that's what it is. I don't lose no sleep over a troll. None. It's fun. I'm sorry that I don't come off and I can't convey that. I'm not sorry. I really don't give a shit right now. You say, Scab, why are you so mad? Do you not understand? The guy had a channel, whether you like it, whether you don't, it brought people into this community. No, I don't enjoy all his fanboys coming to do it, broke it, no shit. That's what he does. But I respect the fact that he did it. He had work tough gear on. I, I can't tell you the message. Oh, have you seen the? Listen to me. I've done over 300 videos on work tough gear. I'm not worried about what Joe's going to break with work tough gear because it's quality. And if some of you would have listened to what he was saying, instead of doing this or this, when you should have done this, who's next? There's channels on here I can't stand. And there's plenty of them that don't like me, brother, and I'm fine with it. I'll be at Blade Show. Matter of fact, buy my lonesome. Just this time, and this is a side note, when you go to tell a story about beating old scab at Blade Show this year, don't lie about it. I don't do politics, religion, or her. But when it comes to coming on here 
and presenting a knife, whether you agree with it, whether you don't, whether you like it, whether you don't, do you not understand that it benefits everyone? And all of you clowns that keep on a talk about, well, the community does this and we do this. You do not speak for me. I am no longer a part of the knife community on YouTube. I have my group of channels that I will help if it means sending knives, if it means giving advice, if it means dying on a hill, that's what I'll do. But all this other shit, leave me out of it. What if he's just playing, Scab? You're going to look stupid. You don't think I ain't looked stupid before? Take a real hard look. This eye goes this way. I'm missing half my teeth because of drug abuse. The only reason she's here is because she's got a heart of gold and she's batshit crazy. Let me tell you something. You don't think I ain't looked stupid before. So, Joe, if you come back, I'll be the first to come on here and probably tear your new ass and then tell you, brother, I love you. I'm glad you're back. That's all I know to say. If you're a knife company and you did this, you're a piece of shit. I know Joe didn't like Tops, and I know he didn't like Essie, and I know, I know all that, and I like those companies. But again, again, it's big picture. And I'm not saying I agreed with all he did. But the right that we are giving up just day in and day out and day in and day and, and I don't want to hear about snowflakes and all that shit. I'm so wore out on that shit too because it's this community. Tough guys. Freedom of speech, Second Amendment. You don't believe it. Here's the difference. I'll die on this cross because it ain't right. I don't give a flying rat's ass, and I hope my mom don't watch this because I've cussed more than I normally do, but I don't give a shit if not one of you ever send me a knife again, and I'm talking about knife companies. Because I got people that'll send them. That's, that's it. It's bullshit. And again, I'm not a hypocrite. I wasn't in Joe's comments a hundred times trying to jerk him off. None of that. I've said my piece on it. Every person has the right to do a knife review and every knife review has merit. I had a couple of jerk offs today worried about how I used EDC. Well, you can kiss my EDC ass because I carry it every day. I'm scab. I promise you I am. And you're not and you never will be. But you know what? Stay tuned because I'm not going to say you're not and I'm gone. Be careful because scab X may be on the way.